there, wrestling fans. You might know me. I'm the real Bobby Munson, and this is Ring Respect Radio. And we're changing formats just a little bit because I've got my redneck-style green screen in behind me so we can have all sorts of fun here on Ring Respect Radio. Today on the show, we're going to be talking WWE's TLC pay-per-view, a little bit of the prediction side of it here tonight. So, before we get started, though, I'm going to get a, go ahead and get you guys to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell so you know anytime we release new material right here on Ring Respect Radio. Now, WWE's TLC is tonight. Sunday night, folks. Hope you're ready for it. It's going to be a good one. The final WWE pay-per-view of 2018, and what a crazy year it's been for all of us wrestling fans. So let's get rolling with the predictions of the night. First match we're going to talk about is Rey Mysterio going one-on-one -on -one with the Viper Randy Orton in a chairs match. That's right, folks. You hit your opponent the most times with the chairs, you win. No, I'm just kidding. That's not how you win. You win by pinfall or by submission or by mercilessly beating your opponent into the ground, which we know is the type of thing that really favors Randy Orton. But I think that they're going to give Mysterio the rub here, and Rey Mysterio is going to come out victorious in this match against Randy Orton. Next one up is the finals of the Mix Match Challenge. So we are going to see R-Truth teaming up with Carmella to take on Jinder Mahal and Alicia Fox. And with how popular and over with the crowd that uh, both Carmella and R-Truth have been, you know they're gonna probably going to give them the win tonight. That's what I'm predicting anyway. It's going to be time for a dance-off as R-Truth and Carmella pick up the victory. Moving on from there, it's 205 Live Action. Cruiser weight title is on the line. Buddy Murphy is going to be taking on Cedric Alexander. And we all know this one is going to be an absolute barn burner of a matchup. So get really excited for this one. But you know in the end, it's going to come to a Buddy Murphy victory as he retains the Cruiser weight championship. In one-on-one -on -one action, Elias is going to be going against Bobby Lashley in a ladders match. I believe that the big man is going to come out victorious. It's going to be some sort of distraction that is going to cost Elias this particular encounter. Bobby Lashley ends up your victor of the evening. Finn Balor going to be going one-on-one -on -one with Drew McIntyre. And this one, again, I feel is going to go in the favor of the heels. Drew McIntyre, the big man, going to overcome the demon Finn Balor and pull off the victory tonight at WWE's TLC. Then we're going to move on from there. Natalia going to go one-on-one -on -one with Ruby Riot in a tables match. And this one has been a very heated up victory as of late. You know that a lot of people getting very upset about the way the Riot Squad's been attacking Natalia and using Natalia's father's passing as a bit of the storyline here in order to get under Natalia's skin. But it's time for Natalia to get revenge on the Riot Squad and on their leader Ruby Riot here tonight. I'm going with Natalia for the victory at WWE's TLC pay-per-view. The New Day, the Usos, and the the Bar, sorry, they're going to be going into the SmackDown Tag Team Championship Triple Threat Matchup for the titles, and your victors in this one. I've got to go with the Bar. They're riding high. They're a great team, and I feel that they're going to be strong as the Tag Team Champions moving forward. So yes, the Bar picking up the victory here tonight and retaining those Tag Team titles. On from there, we have got the Raw Women's Championship match going to be contested between Ronda Rousey and Nia Jax. Uh, should be a decent encounter. We've seen them lock up before. They had a great encounter last time. Let's see where it goes this time. I'm going to go with Ronda Rousey picking up the victory and retaining her Raw Women's Championship. Then over on to the SmackDown Women's Championship side. Triple threat match. It is going to be Becky Lynch. Charlotte and Asuka. This is going to be one hell of a ride, folks. The match that most of us are looking forward to here on this particular pay-per-view. And i got to say, with all the momentum in her corner, Becky Lynch walking out is still SmackDown Women's Champion. Braun Strowman and Baron Corbin going to be going one-on-one -on -one in a TLC match. I really wish they would have picked another match to be the TLC match. I feel this one just really isn't warranted for a TLC-type style matchup itself. I don't think anybody is really as invested in it as WWE would like them to be. I gotta say, Braun Strowman's gonna end up walking out victorious here tonight. Then we have the Intercontinental title on the line as Dean Ambrose taking on Intercontinental Champion Seth Rollins. I feel that this one's gonna go in the way of Seth Rollins, whether it's by some sort of wacky finish or anything like that. Seth Rollins is gonna retain and prolong this particular storyline, especially leading into the WrestleMania season. And then in our final match of the evening, AJ Styles going one-on-one -on -one 
for the WWE Championship against champion Daniel Bryan. Another match that I'm very, very much looking forward to, especially if it's given the time of day to really progress in this particular encounter tonight. Going to be a hell of a match. But i got to say, Daniel Bryan, I feel, is going to still retain his WWE Championship. Look for some storylines to start to unfold as we head towards the Royal Rumble in January. So I think this is their opportunity to start unfolding stories as we head into 2019. That is going to be it for TLC predictions here today, folks. Thank you very much for tuning in. Hope you love the new format here on Ring Respect Radio. I really enjoy really up in the game, stepping it up and giving you something different each and every week. And I'm going to try to do that a little bit more often for you guys, all my follow uh, fellow uh, wrestling fans out there. Hopefully you're subscribed to the channel already. And if you're not, once again, please go ahead and give us a subscribe. Really helps us out here on Ring Respect Radio and helps you out too because then you know every time we release new content, here for all you wonderful wrestling fans. Before I go today, I want to wish every single one of you out there a very prosperous and happy holiday season. All the best to you and your families, from my family and everyone here at Ring Respect Radio. Happy holidays and have a happy new year as well. Thank you.